AMD RX 480 literally forced Nvidia to bring ahead the launch of GTX 1060. Now we have a card that costs much less than the launch price of GTX 970 and performs very close to GTX 980. This really feels premium and I will show you why. Heaven Benchmark is a GPU Direct X11 testing tool based on Unigine engine and we are going to test in the extreme preset mode at the resolution of 1600 by 1900 at 8x anti-aliasing. The CPU that we are going to use is Intel i5-6500. The operating system is Windows 10 64-bit. Initially, for the Gigabyte GTX 1060, the baseline score for the Heaven benchmark is 2063 and the average FPS is 81.9. We overclock GPU by 100 and memory by 50 MHz to get a 3% increase in FPS to 84.4 and an overall score of 2126. A further overclock of GPU by 150 and memory by 100 gave 4.5% increase in FPS to 85.6. And finally, an overclock of GPU by 200 and memory by 150 gave 6.35% increase in FPS to 87.1 with a final score of 2194. No changes were made to voltage or power settings and the overall GPU temperature never exceeded 66 degrees Celsius with fan in turbo mode. Next, we will have a look at the latest 3D Mark Times by Benchmark based on DirectX 12. The baseline graphics score that we got was 4085 with an overall score of 3973. We overclock GP by 100 and memory by 50 MHz to get a 4% increase in graphics score to 4246 and an overall score of 4094 and finally an overclock of GPU by 200 and memory by 150 gave 7.4% increase in graphics score to 4387 and an overall score of 4200 now time for some real world gaming benchmarks we are going to use the built in benchmark in shadow of Mordor The average FPS that we got from this benchmark was 68.28. This benchmark scales really well with the overclocking of GTX 1060. For a 50 MHz overclock, we got 29% increase. For 100 MHz, it went up to almost 35%. And finally, for 200 MHz, we got 37% increase to 93.56 FPS.